And the award for best group costume goes to... Justice League of America. <laughs> Number three! Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's issue number 21, first appearance of Hellboy. I know. I've been looking for it for years. Sorry. Hey, if I pretended to hit on you, could I distract you enough to sneak it away? <laughs> yes, but you'd be using your superpowers for evil. <laughs> Damn. I'm forbidden by my Kryptonian father to do so. <laughs> I'm Alice. I, Leonard. You're very cute, Leonard. Thanks, you too. You know, go ahead and take it. <laughs> I did evil. Would you be open to a trade? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. Here, this is my number. Call me. Sorry, the palm's a little sweaty. What's that word? Alice. Oh, write your name. That makes more sense than penis. <laughs> cares, just soak it in. <laughs> Hello, boys. Oh, hey. <laughs> Can you please stop staring? They're just girls. It's nothing you haven't seen in movies or in drawings. Hey, Stuart. Well, what brings you guys here? We were looking for a recommendation about comic books. Oh, well, I recommend you don't open a store and sell them. No, we were just wondering why the guys like this stuff so much, so we thought we'd give it a try. Oh, okay. What do you think you might be into? Superhero, fantasy, graphic novels, manga? I swear I will turn a hose on you. <laughs> we're all here tonight because we have no one to be with. But that doesn't make us mutants. The only mutants here are in these comic books. <laughs> we gotta stop defining our self-worth by whether or not we're in a relationship. You know what I see when I look around? I see a room full of great people. So let's give ourselves a break. We are a community. And as long as we have each other, we're never truly alone. That was cool, what you said. You really think so? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Uh, would you like to uh, get a, a cup of coffee? Okay. Later, losers! Excuse me. I was wondering if you could recommend something. Oh, sure. You want to tell me what you like? I would not. <laughs> All right, well, you're wearing a Green Lantern shirt, so I'm guessing you're a DC fan. Although that's from the Alan Scott era, so you're probably not super into the current run. How would you feel about an alternate history where World War I was fought with dragons and magic? That's what I wanted the theme of my 10th birthday party to be. <laughs> Here, check this out. It's by Kurt Busiek. You know, if you're interested in alternate histories, Neil Gaiman wrote one called 1602. I'm sorry, we're in the middle of something here. <laughs> it is pretty good, actually. He takes the Marvel superheroes and he puts them into Elizabethan England. Let me guess, everyone thinks the X-Men are witches. Yeah. 